should be able to go to our chorus and hear. <laughs> See now, for some reason, that's not right because uh, it's only going on the left side. So we need to fix that. So now you see one, two, three, four. That's left, right, left, right. Okay, and now we've got our stereo effect. So we've got our stereo effect there, so that's been assigned. Okay, so we know that's key. Now we're going to go here. And that's our bass. We call this our bell. Okay, so we haven't assigned those yet. So now we need to go in and assign all these. This is already stereo one. So we need to go into um, poise and assign all these. So that's already output one. So click here, go to output two. Make this three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's our kick. And we know we got two kicks, so we're going to call this kick one, right? Our snare. That's our clap one. We know we got two claps. Next two. And I think these are our here, our kicks. So our clap two. And this is our other kick. Okay, so now we have all of our audio. And then I don't even need to put loop here. We know it's a loop. When you're exporting, the lower, the shorter the words, the better. So, um, and you'll see why later on. You'll you'll get it. You may not get it now. You'll get it. So if I go to my console, you'll see now that all my MIDI, all of my MIDI tracks are assigned. They're by themselves. They're doing whatever they do. These are my virtual instruments right here. My MIDI instruments. Then these all over here from the guitar on are all the audio tracks, you know what I mean? Now you can mix everything that you want to mix from this point, from this screen here, if you're not, you know what I mean? If you're not, um, if you're just looking at simplifying it or whatever, or just, you know, just bouncing it, you can mix all of it from here. So I have the boost turned on, so we're going to play it and we're just going to try to get a little bit decent mix.
So the key is not to get the, you know, for me, now, you know, I can export, we can export it and uh, at least have it, have something to, to go with, you know, so we'll go to Masquerade Beats and for these and we'll just say, all right, Masquerade Beats. And we just call this, uh. I got an idea already, so I'm gonna call it everything. And we'll make sure that I know which one that it is. So it's 1 45. And um, just export it. Everything's good, fast bounce. So this is going to uh, export right now. Now, you don't have to separate them to export the final product or export it. The reason I separated them is because I'm going to um, import them into a new session and I'll mix it with just the audio. I'll mix just the audio files. It's easier on the, um, on the engine, on the sound engine. And you can, I find you can do a little bit more, you know what I mean, without having the um, MIDI instruments play live so it makes more sense to do it that way plus I'm gonna add vocals to it so and when I mix when you mix vocals and music it's better if you have them all separated and then you can just kinda of find the pocket stuff and everything you know what I mean and then you can go and you can mix it to the best of your abilities then you can master it all together and uh, it just sounds good so um, I'm just waiting I'm probably gonna skip this part See, so I'll be right back. It's gonna, it's gonna um, bounce, and I'll be right back, and then we'll export it again um, se with separated files, and then that'll be it for this this lesson. And we'll go into making the uh, the hook and everything. All right, so we skipped all that time that it took to export the final file. Just check it, make sure everything's good on that. What are my files? Um, go to my beats section and let's go to masquerade beats and we call this everything just throw it in there
Obviously that works. Um, one thing that I noticed is I had my snares too far pan. Let me just pan one of the uh, pan this one to the left. Pan this one about ten percent left. That should be cool. All right, so just to keep it a different dynamic. Um, so then all you got to do to uh, export export the waves is just go to export audio. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Um, make a new folder, call it everything. Doesn't really matter right now. And then I'm just going to make the wave files. Go down here and click tracks. And you see that it only picks the, the tracks that are audio tracks. And as you see, they're all named. So, and then I call it wave, so I know what it is. Uh, what this is. Now it's going to export it, and of course, I want to make those tracks, and that's it. So, after that, uh, the next session, we're going to do. Uh, you know, we're going to complete the song, start writing to it and singing to it, and again, we'll see you guys soon. So that's probably going to be another day because I've got to take off. i got work to do, so I will talk to you guys later.